Hi guys, a very warm welcome from Ajdi Creations. Welcome to our new lesson today. In today's lesson, we will be creating the lotus in the Kerala mural style. So let us start. For that, I have taken my normal sketchbook. If I have to give you the dimensions of my page, it is approximately 19 centimeters by 14 centimeters is the size. You can take any sketchbook or any sheet which is available with you. And here first we'll be sketching it with a pencil. The shape of the lotus is peculiar so that is important. So first it is going to be the drop shape. Now here we are going to make a three three uh, bulb like this. So we are creating them in a bale. So we will create a swirl here. So this swirl will be a line which will come above this like this. One more swirl we are going to create which will come here. Now we have the typical swirl which generally comes so for that here we are going to have the swirl in this it is going to have a number of curves so this is the first curve then there is second third fourth fifth. this way we are going to be making it now there is one more which is going to be coming here so here first we will have a swirl and in the last we will have a swirl and we will have four in between this way we will have one more swirl like this this is easy to draw it's not very tough to draw just follow the steps Now we will make another lotus this side. Now the same we will be making here also. So I'm connecting it with this particular swirl. In between we are going to show a lotus leaf. We'll wrap the, this line later on. So like here there is going to be one swirl. All the swirls are going to come below the lotus leaf. There is one swirl which will go ahead. the shape now there will be one this shape which will come here and one we'll make here From here we are going to make and we are going to make a bigger leaf here. Now 
so the number of strings that you make those number of swirls you'll have to make and here we'll have to we'll repeat this pattern okay so this we've done now let us start our coloring part now i have taken out my white acrylic color and i'll be using a shade of my crimson okay this is crimson these first we are going to do the lotus so let's just take out a little bit of crimson and now just make a little pink this then mix white and uh, red to get my pink shade if you don't have acrylics up the poster use ka sakte ho you can also use watercolors so now in the lower part it is going to be more of whitish and in the upper part we are going to do pink i'm doing it with a thin brush so you can do it with any thin brush which is available just blend it out here so it's going to be more pinkish towards the tip and at the extreme tip we will give a dot of red and just blend it So just work in layers. First, go in for white. Okay. Work fast if you are working with acrylic colors; they dry up fast, very fast. So just do your try to do your shading as fast as possible. So this way we run Dana to Lotus. Now let us take out little bit of color for doing our green or the leaves. White we will need, so let white be. Here I'm taking a sap green, just very little we need. And we need little bit of yellow. So here I'm taking a permanent yellow medium. Now, if you want to use fairy crystal, then you can go in for using golden yellow. That is also fine. So now we are going to uh, take sap green, take little bit of yellow and white. So we created a lighter green. The lighter green, this lighter green is basically going to go in our leaves. Okay. 
now in some of the swirls it will be green so in that for that we can directly use our sap green So now I have taken out um, Scarlet Lake okay? and the other color yellow which we had taken out Permanent Yellow Medium. Now there is a lot of yellow and uh, scarlet yellow which will be used. So first is take a little bit of yellow Inko mix kar deje, and when you mix it you will get a rustish color. Now what we are going to do is So it's going to be this way. So if you feel somewhere that the outline is not perfectly done in those places, you can do the outline. Okay, now comes the final color of the swirls for that. I'll just take out a drop of Persian blue and we are not going to use direct Persian blue in this we are going to use a combination of Persian blue with white So now after your color dries up completely, let us do the finishing. Here I am doing the finishing using my Micron. This is a 0.2 Micron and finishing for the Kerala mural is important. Here I am doing my finishing with black. The Micron will easily work on your uh, acrylic colors so you can use them. Generally other gel pens may have a problem. So you can go in for either a micron or a brasto or a unipin that I have seen they work really well on your acrylic colors.
Okay, now in this. So now you can see that our beautiful lotus bale in the Kerala mural style is done. Do create your own, do share with us and if you like the video please press the like button. Please share with your friends and family and do send me your feedback if you would like to learn more such uh, paintings in the Kerala mural style. Thank you so much and bye bye.